Hello friends. In this video, we are going to write a program for the 8051 microcontroller to add a block of data, assuming that after the addition, the result is a 16-bit number. First, we will see that how we can solve this problem and then we will write the program and explaining the function of each of the instructions in the program. So let's start with the problem. So let us first see the program problem statement that what we have to assume and how we have to write the program. So the statement of our problem is that we have to write a program to add 10 bytes in the internal RAM. We have to add 10 bytes of data and this data is stored in the internal RAM. Now we have to assume that the starting location where the 10 bytes of data is stored, the starting memory location is 40H. Okay. Then we have to assume that after the addition of these 10 bytes of data, the result is a 16-bit number. Also, the result of this addition is to be stored in register R2 and R3 of the register bank 0 of 8051 microcontroller with the LSB stored in register R2 and MSB stored in register R3. So the result is having a 16 bit number. So of the 16 bit number, the lowest significant byte will be stored in the register R2 and the most significant byte is stored in register R3. So this is the now let's see that how we will write the program. So first of all, we will write the steps that in this sequence we are going to solve our problem. Okay. So first let's see that what we have to do, what is the, uh, how we can define our problem and how we can uh, find the solution to that problem. Then we will draw the flowchart for this and then flowchart will be converted into the program. Then we will write the instructions. So our first step will be to define our problem. So now we will see the steps that how we are going to solve. So first of all, our first step is that we have to consider a 10 bytes of data in the and this 10 bytes of data, this block of 10 bytes is present at the memory location starting address is 40 edge. This is given to us in the question. Now next we have to add these 10 bytes. Now to add these 10 bytes we have to initialize a counter. So that this counter when we are we will initialize this counter as 10 every time we are going to after every one addition we are going to decrement this count and we will check that whether this counter has reached to 0 or not. So we will initialize the counter as 10 and then we will decrement this counter. So to add these 10 bytes we have to initialize count and we will use the R0 register as the count register. Then because uh, the block of data is stored at memory location 40 edge so from 40 edge till 49 edge we are having the 10 bytes of data so every time we have to add the data so for 10 we are using the r0 register but to increment the memory every time we have to use a memory pointer also so we will use 
register R1 as pointer to point the block. Okay, so there are two pointers. One is the count register and one is the memory point. Um, two registers R0 and R1 are used. After that for addition, we have to use the add instruction. So using add instruction, the contents are added. Now, because we have to assume in the, here we are having the program in which the sum is assumed to be 16 bit. So, whenever uh, these registers can store only 88 bit of data, okay. So, here we have to check for the carry. If sum is 8 bit, then there is no need to check for carry. But if the sum is 16 bit, then we have to check that whether the carry is generated in the operation or not. Okay. Check the carry. If carry is there, then store the carry. So we have used three registers R0, R1 and R3. Okay. Then after one addition, suppose that first we have added 40 H uh, number and then 41 H number. After that we have to jump to 42. So next step will be increment the memory pointer. And because one addition is already already done, so we have to decrement the counter which is initialized by 10. So next step will be to decrement the. And we will check at this point that whether the counter has reached to zero value or not. If it is not zero, then we have to repeat these steps. Again, we have to add the numbers. Then we have to check for carry. If carry is there, then we have to store the carry. Again, the pointer is to be increment. Again, counter will be decrement. So step will be repeated until the counter has reached to zero value. So decrement the counter and continue till it is zero or till all the contents are added after that we have to store the result because addition is done always with the accumulator so after the addition result is there in the accumulator now in the question we are uh, given that we have to store the result in such a form that LSB is stored in register R2 and MSB is stored in register R3. MSB is the carry. So carry we have already stored in register R3. So now the result should be in the register R2. So result is stored in register R2 of register bank 0. So these are the steps which we have to follow when we are writing the program for this problem. Okay. First we will consider 10 bytes of data which is starting from memory location 40H. Then we have to add these 10 bytes. We will initialize the count in register R0. Register R1 is the memory pointer. Then using the add instruction we will add the contents. Then we will check for carry. If carry is there then it is stored in register R3. Then memory pointer is incremented two points to the next element then counter is decrement and continue till all the contents are added and result is stored in register r2 of bank zero now let's write the 
or let's draw the flow chart for this okay so through the flow chart it will be easy to know that what will be the sequence of the program which is the first step which will be the second step third step so our problem will be much reduced because after drawing the flow chart we just have to replace the blocks of the flow chart with the instructions So first step in the flowchart is always the start. Then first step was to initialize the counter and the memory pointer register. Okay. So initialize counter. and memory pointer first we will initialize our result as 00, zero. okay then we will add one by one all the numbers and also we will initialize the carry as 00, zero. So that if carry is there, then we will move that carry into this register. So we have loaded the register, initializes the register also as 00 and count carry also as 00. Then we will load the data using memory pointer. Counter is there in the R0 register which is 10 and memory pointer is the R1 register which is first of all initialized with the starting address 40H. So we will lo start loading the data using the memory pointer R1. Then we will add the data. How we will add? The result we have already there. So result plus this R1 the number which is stored at this memory location so result will be new result will be old result plus the data after that we will check that is carry is generated or not is carry is set or not if carry is set then we will increment the memory pointer how it will be increment one will be added in it and also we will decrement the counter decrement it by one Now after that we will check that whether the counter is 0 or not. If it is not 0 then we have to repeat the result. Repeat this step. Again we have to add the data. And if the counter is 0 then store the result. And then the program will be stop. Now here if the carry is set then we have to increment the carry. Okay. And if it is not set then we will directly increment the memory pointer. So this is not if carry is not set then in directly uh, increment it. If it is yes then increment the carry carry is equals to carry plus one and then repeat this step okay so if not carry is generated then directly these steps are follow if carry is generated then carry is incremented after that these steps will be followed so this is the flow chart that how the program is going to run what will be the sequence of instructions so now we will replace all these blocks with the instruction okay so first our 
uh, instruction will be to initialize the counter and memory pointer. But before this, because here we are choosing the registers of R0, R1, R3, R2, all are from the register bank 0. So first of all, we have to select the register bank 0. In 8051 microcontroller, there are four register banks. Z bank 0, bank 1, bank 2 and bank 3. To select these banks, we are having third and fourth bit in the program status word. When these bits are 0, 0, means the third bit is also 0 and fourth bit is also 0, then register bank 0 is selected. When third bit is 0, means the combination is 0 and 1, then bank 1 is selected. If it is 1, 0, then bank 2. If it is 1, 1, then bank 3. So to select bank 0, then both the third and fourth bit, they are to be 0. Okay, 0, 0. Okay, so to that, to select the register bank, the first instruction in our program will be clear psw.3. This instruction is going to clear the bit. Okay, clear means that zero will be, uh, the, that bit will be made as zero. So, the bit number third of the program status word will be cleared and fourth bit also we have to clear. So, both these bits are cleared and this in, these two instructions are going to select register bank 0. Now, in every bank, we are having 8, 8 registers starting from R0 to R7. So, bank is already selected. So, whenever we are writing R0, R1, R2, then these all registers are of register bank 0. Now, in the flowchart, you have seen that we have to next step is to initialize the counter and the memory pointer. Counter is to be initialized in R0 register and memory pointer is to be initialized in R1 register. So next steps will be move R0. We have to initialize R0 with the 10 value. So immediate number 0A that is 10. It is in hexadecimal notation. So that will be moved in the R0 register. So here R0 is having the value 10. Then we have to move in R1 with the memory location 40H because that 10 bytes of data starting memory location is 40H. So it will be the memory pointer. In R1 we will be having the data 40H. Now, after that, in flowchart, next step is to load the result as 00, 0 and carry also as 00. 0. Result will be in the accumulator. So, next step is to move in accumulator the data 00, 0 H. So, in accumulator, we will be having 00. 0. Next, we have to initialize the carry also as 0 and carry is always stored in register R3. So, in R3 register, we are having again 0, 0. So, in R3, we are having 0 and 0. So, these steps are the initialization step. First, initializing counter. Second, initializing memory pointer. Third, initializing the result and fourth initializing the carry okay now we have to add the numbers okay we have to add the accumulator and the number which is stored at 40h memory location so for that we will write the instruction add accumulator a and the number which is at the memory location 40h so indirect addressing is used and R1 is written here. This indirect addressing means add the number which is in accumulator and also the number which is stored in the memory location which is at 
R1 means this is going to add suppose at 40 uh, 0 1 is there that 0 1 number is stored so 0 1 will be added with accumulator accumulator is having 0 0 both will be added and in the result of this addition will be again stored in the accumulator 0 0 plus 0 1 0 1 so the contents of accumulator will now be changed okay now after addition we will see that whether the carry is generated or not is carry set or not how we are going to see this because whenever after addition if the carry is generated in the arithmetic and logical operations then we are having the carry flag in the microcontroller and then that carry flag is set so we are going to check at this point that whether this carry flag is set or not if carry flag is set then the carry which is initialized as 00, 0 that will be incremented if it is not set then that carry is not incremented so next step will be to check the carry flag now carry flag cannot be directly checked we have the jump instructions related with it that jump instruction is j n c jump on no carry okay now when the carry is not generated then what it has to do it has to directly increment the pointer and if carry is generated then it has to increment the carry so carry is there in r3 register increment r3 will be next step and if carry is not generated then directly jump to the next step next instruction will be incrementing the memory pointer and decrementing the counter incrementing memory pointer means inc is for increment inc r1 now because after the no carry is generated then at what location it has to jump we have to provide a label for that so here we will provide the label l2 an L2 label is given to this instruction. So when carry is not generated, it is going to skip this instruction and jump at this memory location. Okay. Now after incrementing the memory pointer R1, after incrementing this, it has to decrement the counter also. So next step will be decrement the counter and jump at the memory location uh, sorry counter is in r naught so decrement the counter so counter will be decremented now in the flowchart if you see when the counter is decremented next step is to check that whether the counter is zero or not if it is zero then store the result if it is not zero then again we have to repeat these steps that is addition is to be repeated so if it is not zero it has to jump to this memory location or jump to this step okay so we are using the instruction here decrement and jump if it is not zero so it is going to decrement the counter register r naught if it is not zero it has to jump to the step where addition is to be performed again and again so here we will provide a label to this step that is l1 and this label is written after this so it is going to decrement the uh, r0 and if it is not zero then it is going to jump at l1 if it is zero then next step is to just store the result and result is an accumulator so we have to move the number which is in accumulator into the r2 register okay so our step in the flowchart was to store the result after that stop means the program is to be ended and to end the program we will write the instruction end end is to indicate that now the program has terminated this is the last statement of the program so let's again see our program for this 
first of all we have to select the registered bank okay because r not r1 r2 r3 all these registers are from some register bank so first step is to select the register bank 0 to select register bank 0 the third and the fourth bit has to be 0 0 so we are using the instruction clear to clear the third and fourth bit of the program status word so that we can select register bank 0 then we will initialize counter with 10. We will initialize the memory pointer with the starting memory location 40H. After that, we will initialize the result 00. Then we will initialize the carry also as 00. Then we will add the accumulator with the memory pointer register and then jump on no carry if carry is generated is if the carry is not generated then just increment the memory pointer decrement the counter and repeat the steps if carry is generated then the register r3 which is used as the carry pointer then that will be incremented now in this step we are decrementing the counter and if it is not zero then steps will be repeated if it is zero then just the result is which is there in the accumulator that will be shifted in r2 register and then end of the program now let's take an example because here we have to add the 10 bytes of data so suppose that this 10 bytes of data is starting from 40H memory location. First number is suppose 51, 41H we are having 46. thirty five, forty five. at 45H we are having 66. 57 8a 48h we are having z uh, b0 and at 49h we are having 0a these are the 10 bytes of data or 10 bytes or block of data and uh, the starting memory location is 40H. The 10 numbers are there. Now accumulator is having 0, 0. To point this, we are having or uh, this memory location, we are having R1 register. To point uh, towards the 10 bytes, we are having the R0 register. Every time R1 and accumulator, they will be added. 51 and 00, 00 will be added accumulator will have 51 no carry is generated so increment the memory pointer will be incremented 46 and 51 will be added so we will get 7 and 9 97 no carry is generated again we will add 22 in it now at this point carry is generated so 119, so 1 is the carry, okay? So carry pointer will be incremented. Then 19 and 35 will be added. So in this way, again and again, the numbers will be added and we will get the result as 354H. Now in this result, you can see that carry is 3 and result is 54. So in register R2, we will get 54 and in register R3, we will get the result as 03H. So in this way, this program will be executed by the microcontroller and it will show the results in the register R2 and R3. Okay. So this is an assembly language program to add a block of data and we have assumed that after the addition the sum is a 16 bit number so i hope that this program is now clear to you thank you